Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to put together the Coco Melon activity page. The template is free. You can go to my website, print out those pieces, cut them out onto your felt. No sewing is required. It is just your hot glue. So if you wanna add Coco Melon to your child's busy book, check out this video. First thing you can do is head on over to my website, which I will link in the description, and you can print and cut out the free Coco Melon template. You can get all your pieces of felt cut out. You can see I've already cut mine out and I've actually started gluing some of them together. I've got the baby's face all glued on. I think his name is JJ. I don't watch Coco Melon. My kids are a little old for that now, but um, I've got his face all glued together. The only thing that I added that is not included in the template is I used my hole punch to cut out these two white pieces of felt for the eyes. And then I just cut out a tiny little white square for his teeth and a little pink uh, circled piece for his tongue. And then I just used a brown marker and I drew on the eyebrows and the nose. So I've got his face all glued together. Um, I also cut out, and it shows in the template, that you need to cut out two copies each of both the arms and the legs. So I've cut those out and I've glued um, two copies together for each arm and each leg just to add some stiffness and structure to those pieces. I've also already got down my um, big green watermelon glued down and the little pink piece and the blue antennas. I've glued those right down to the page and I also cut out these darker strips of green. Those are not included in the template. I just did those freehand, um, but I've cut those out and I've glued those right down. I'm gonna be gluing down this ladybug as well. It will be glued down right to the page. Um, another thing you can see that I have done is I've cut out multiple pieces of the face of the watermelon and the reason I have multiple is because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make different expressions on the face. I, I've only done three. If you want to, you could do multiple ones. I think I'll do a happy one, maybe a sad one, and maybe a silly looking one. Um, but I've also, I haven't got those eyes glued down yet, but you can cut out as many as you need to for whatever number of expressions you wanna make. I also cut out a second piece um, and glued it to the back side just so that these pieces are nice and stiff and structured one layer of felt might not be enough depending on how thick the felt is that you are using. Mine is not quite thick enough so I wanted to just glue um, a second layer together so that it's not really floppy, it's nice and stiff and structured. So because I want the child to be able to switch out the expressions and play with the different facial expressions of that watermelon, these pieces will not be glued down. I'm gonna just put a, um, I'm gonna glue down a Velcro dot um, onto the center of the watermelon and then onto the back of each of these pieces. And for the little baby, I'm gonna glue all everything down, his head and the headphones. I'm gonna be gluing down the music notes and his body. And then I'm going to use these little um, brad pins to put at the joints for the arms and the legs so that the child can move his arms and legs and make him dance. One more thing I forgot to mention is as always, I am using sheets of felt that are 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters or eight inches by eight inches. And I'm just gluing the pieces right on except for the pieces that I want to detach. Also, if you guys watch my videos, you know that when I actually assemble this book and I'm ready to glue another page onto the back of it, um, so for example, say I want to glue a Cookie Monster page onto the back of it. Um, when I glue that together, I like to leave the tops open sometimes and then that way uh, your children can use that top part as a pocket to store any detachable pieces so that they don't get lost. So you can keep that in mind when you're actually putting your book together. Okay, so I've got the little arms and the legs put in place there so that they can rotate. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some daubs of glue um, on the back just so that they these pieces never open up. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on there. Okay, I went ahead and drew on some different ex facial expressions onto the watermelon. So I just to go with a kind of surprised face, just a regular happy face and a sad face. I also went ahead and glued on that ladybug and took my black fabric marker and drew on the details. You can just use a regular black Sharpie marker if you want to. And these are the Velcro dots that I have. I buy them in these big rolls. I buy a ton of them. I will put the link in the description. And even though they are self-adhesive, as always, I am going to be using hot glue because the stickiness is not good enough all, on its all by itself. You need to add hot glue. Got the rest of all of the pieces all glued on, the headphones and the uh, music notes, and I've got the Velcro dots glued on the back of each of the faces of the watermelon. So 
your kids can swap out those emotions. Like I said, I only did three, but I will probably add more later just for fun so that there's lots of different facial expressions because uh, little kids love playing with different facial exp expressions and it's great for helping them recognize different emotions and, and, and the signs of how someone's feeling. And one other quick thing I didn't mention that I did as well is I took a pink marker and kind of smudged it on JJ's face to make his little rosy cheeks as well. So those are all the features of his face. Okay, I hope you guys enjoy that and I hope your kids love playing with it. Make sure you have liked and subscribed to my channel if you are enjoying these busy book activity pages. Let me know in the comments if you've got any requests and I will see you guys in the next video. Mwah!